Hello friends, I am Neera Sharma, Assistant Professor in Biani Group of Colleges in IT Department. On behalf of Guru KPO, I am presenting my on topic uh, memory addressing technique which is in computer organization. First of all, we should be discuss about what do you mean by addressing technique. Basically, addressing technique means we are using some kind of methods uh, which is applicable for uh, defining some addresses or memory addresses to particular data information which we are storing into the memory. So, we can say that addressing technique is basically based on some particular addressing different addressing modes. We can say that addressing mode basically the methods uh, used to determine uh, which is uh, part of memory being referred uh, by a machine instructions. We can say that uh, we have different type of addressing techniques and different type of addressing modes we, which we can discuss furtherly. So, we can say that uh, addressing mode is basically supported to the addressing technique. Friends, as we discussed that we have a addressing techniques modes, different addressing modes have supported to the different addressing techniques. So, basically addressing mode we have lot of addressing mode, various addressing mode we have supported for addressing techniques like direct addressing mode is there, indirect addressing mode is there, immediate addressing mode is there and another is relative addressing mode is there and index addressing mode is there. So, let us discuss about the addressing mode, what kind of addressing mode and what are the functionality of these addressing modes. Friends, uh, let us discuss with the addressing techniques or addressing modes. We can say that uh, we have a first addressing mode is called direct addressing mode. So, what is the features basically for direct addressing mode? Effectively, address of the operand uh, given to the address field of instruction to in the direct addressing mode. Second thing, second feature is uh, required which is uh, saying we can say that uh, one memory reference to read the operands is basically need uh, for uh, defining the operation mode. So, we can say that uh, the third uh, basic feature is the length of the address field must be usually less than uh, the word length. So, it is the basic features of the particular direct addressing mode. Friends, uh, let us discuss with the indirect addressing mode. What do you mean by indirect addressing mode? Basically, address field of the instructions uh, basically refer to the address of word in memory in indirect addressing mode. Second contain is uh, we can say that uh, full length of address operand should be there inside the indirect addressing mode. The advantage of uh, basically this mode is to provide uh, double space for the uh, particular addresses or of a bit. Uh, disadvantage is basically that uh, two memory reference is used for fetching the instruction. So, we need at least two memory reference uh, uh, reference uh, basically to the uh, fetching the instructions. Let us uh, discuss about another uh, addressing mode which is called uh, intermediate addressing mode. We can say that uh, it is the basically simplest form of addressing. So, we can say that operand which is uh, using for uh, perform performing some operations like we have a, a two type of things that uh, some is called operator and is called operand. Operand is uh, basically the variable where we have the uh, perform some operations. So, we can say that operand is given in this instruction is uh, called itself. So, uh, basically this is used to define a uh, constant or set value uh, in case of uh, immediate addressing mode. The another uh, feature is uh, no memory reference order is required or needed to fetching the instruction or data. So, this is the basically advantage of the uh, immediate addressing mode. The another is uh, size of uh, number of uh, fields is limited to be fetching the instructions. So, we can say that this is the basic disadvantage of immediate addressing mode. Friends, uh, let us discuss the another addressing technique which is called relative addressing. Basically, in relative addressing technique, uh, basically we have the combination of direct addressing and the indirect addressing mode. So, we can say that uh, value contained in one address field uh, in the uh, relative addressing mode and we can say that one contained used directly and another contained used to refer to the registers. So, basically we already discussed about the some registers part also and produce some effective type of addresses. Uh, let us discuss about the index addressing. Index addressing is basically known as the direct addressing also. So, right offset of the address is required in the memory in case of index addressing. We can say that uh, basically index addressing is work like as dynamic array. Uh, for example, we if we need uh, some size then on that time uh, the size will be defined by the user. So, user will be uh, decided that uh, which kind of uh, size should be there uh, to the memory. Uh, basically, if we want uh, that uh, size should be more or less, uh, uh, so it it will be depend on particular user's requirement. Uh, it depend on the user that uh, what kind of uh, memory or what kind of size uh, memory size uh, they should be used to uh, for defining the index addressing. 
फ्रेंड्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड डोंट फॉर गेट द सब्सक्राइब योर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड विजिट योर वेबसाइट गुरु के पी ए डॉट कॉम थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच